All right, everyone, let's sit down at our assigned computer. Go ahead and log in using your username. Remember, your student number is your password. Click OK to log in. I like to come here. My dad works on his computer a lot at home, but I never get to use it. Yeah, well, I use my dad's computer a lot. Sometimes he'll put games on it and stuff. I get to play for an hour on the weekends. Oh, I don't get to play on the computer. Hey, did she say use our student number for the password? I can't remember mine. Yes? Bobo, let me use yours. I can't remember my number. Well... Jaxter, you can't use Bobo's number. Oh, why not? I forgot my number. Well, one reason is because the computer will then think it's talking to Bobo. And today, we have interactive talking software. It will talk to Bobo and to you by name. But a better reason is because Bobo should never give out or share his password. His student number is his password and other students aren't allowed to use it. Aw, what am I going to do? I can help you get your student number, Jaxter. Come up here by my desk. Bobo, just log in and click the OK button to begin. Then double click on the safety icon for today's activity. So I type my name and my student number and then I click OK. The teacher said to double click on the safety icon, so here it goes. Hi Bobo, welcome to today's lesson about the internet. Wow, you talk! Sure I do, I talk and move around and I'll be your own personal tour guide today. I'm going to teach you some things about the internet. Okay, that sounds fun. But I don't know anything about the internet. I don't even know what that is. That's okay, Bobo. The internet is all of the information you can access on your computer that is stored on someone else's computer. It's how you go to websites. Do you know what websites are? Sure. My dad shows me websites sometimes when I tell him I need to do a project for school. Then he goes to the computer and types something in. And then there are pictures and sometimes words that I can read. Great. That is exactly what I'm talking about. The internet is where we all go to view websites. Sometimes... I can read! Did you know that? Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yes, I can read whole words. And I can even type my name. But I can't read every word yet. I'm only in first grade. But I can read words like numbers and colors. That's great, Bobo. Well, you will get better at reading. And in the future, you'll probably get on the computer more and access the internet more. You know, look at web pages more. Which is why I want to get you prepared for that. So, let's start by agreeing on a few ground rules, okay? Oh, okay. For example, since you are still in the first grade, let's have one very important rule, that you will always get permission before you get on the internet or any other website. Rule number one says make sure your teacher, or maybe your parent, types the right internet address here in the address bar. Oh hey, that's my school website. I've looked at that before. Yes, your school website is a great place to start your training on the internet. It's always a safe and useful website, and sometimes it will show you new information if you click on what are called links. Oh, a link! What are you doing? Well, I'm pressing on a link. It's a button on a web page. It makes new information come up on the screen. Oh, hey, neat! Wait, on this page I see a blank box. I can type my name there? B. Oh, Wait, beep. Bobo, don't do that. Yes, there is a blank box right up here on the screen, but you should be very careful about typing anything into a box on a web page. Web pages are, that are a part of your school website are generally okay, but sometimes you're looking at a website from another country or some other computer. Really? I can look at pictures and stuff from another country? Yes, the Internet connects computers from all over the world. But you don't want to type information into a box on a web page that your teachers or parents haven't said is okay. Why? Because the information you type goes back to their computer. And you wouldn't want to send information to anyone unless you had permission. For example, don't ever type your name or your age on a web page if you weren't told to do so by your teachers or parents. Oh, I'm not supposed to tell anyone who I am? What about where I'm from? I can type my town too. Sorry, Bobo, not that either. I'm glad you can type your name in your town, but you're not supposed to type those things on web pages or any other personal information about you or your family. Not on the internet, not on web pages, not unless your teacher or your parents tell you it's okay. This is so important, we're going to make it our second rule. 
Our second rule. Yes, don't type anything in a box on a web page or in the little windows that sometimes come up when you're on a web page unless you are told to do so by your parent or teacher. Oh, okay, but I like typing things. I just learned my town last week. Oh, I'm sorry, but this is a good rule. Unless you have permission, you don't want to give your personal information, not even your town, to anybody at some other computer. Do you think you can follow this rule? I mean, sometimes, if your teacher or parent tells you it's okay, you get to type on the keyboard. Oh, okay. I guess I can follow that rule. Are there any others? Uh, just one more for today. Rule three, don't give anyone your student number or your username. Oh, I already know that one. That almost happened here today. Jackster wanted to use my name and my student number to log in. He said that he forgot the his number. Hey, did you say my name? Aren't you done yet? I finished mine already. Mr. Eric said not to give you my student number. Yeah, I know, I know. I learned that too. I'm supposed to always go get mine from the teacher if I forget it. That's right. Never give out your student number or other passwords or anything that helps you log into a computer or web page. That's very important. It could misidentify you on the computer, or maybe someday someone will want to mess up your information on the computer. I can think of somebody who might want to do that. <laughs> I know. Well, that does it for our three rules today. Do you have any questions, Bobo? Um, no. Not that I can think of. Can you remember the three rules? Don't give anyone my username or student number. Hey, I can do this. Don't go to any web page my teacher or parents didn't set up for me. Oh, and don't type anything like my name or anything in a box. Yes, that's right. Those are the three rules. If you can't read this, don't worry, but that's what the words say on the screen behind me. These are the three rules. Well, I'm done for today. Go ahead and press the done button, Bobo, and I'll go to sleep for a while. I'll see you next time. Oh, okay. Here you go. Have a good sleep. Hey, ready for recess? I bet I beat you to the swing set. No, you won't.